Good morning and welcome to the New Generation Forum. We have people from all over the continent, people with very diverse views and people with very diverse uh, modalities of research and very diverse backgrounds. We thought it's really important uh, to hear the views of young people. We we'll always talk about the importance of including uh, the young people in the conversation because the conversation, after all, is about your future. Are we expecting our leaders to reach through us only through the traditional uh, media, or can they reach to us where us, the, the young people, are, are more present? Uh, governments should be custodians of our culture in a world of globalization. We demand participation in how the budget is allocated, and that includes even the most vulnerable people in communities and the most marginalized people in communities. The challenges that our generation faces is different from the previous generation. Our generation is merely thinking of economic and, and prosperity. We have unqualified civil servants that end up in the public service just not because that's what they're passionate about, but just because they need a public job that is safe and guarantees that, that they can pay their bills. Know your rights, use them responsibly. But people don't know those rights, so they don't know how to use them responsibly. The tool that can be used to enhance this and bridge this gap is technology. Public servants should be able to go through some kind of training to teach you about how to make effective policies, how to implement policies, as well as um, being citizen-centered, remembering that you're there to serve. As young people, we, I get it, we're hungry, we're fast, we're agile, we're seeing frontier technology. We're talking about mobile and digital, right? Um, and using the internet, but you have other places in the world where they're talking about AI, bot development. We're not there. How do we work with the other generation so that we are basically bridging that gap and moving forward together? When the public service put out schools, when the teachers uh, are teaching, then the parents or the citizens also have the, the obligation to, to make sure that they're using their services and also to maintain those services. When you're implementing projects, are you implementing visible roads that people can see and your electoral voting classes can count your number of projects? Are you driving real social changes that actually are building uh, the, the, the next generation of, of people? One thing that I've heard is that this is not the next generation, but the now generation. Thank you.